start recording. Hey guys, so for this step number 10, we are going to be documenting the point of sale system purchase and depreciation. Specifically, I'm going to use Danny's example here. He volunteered to show us uh, his assignment. Um, I am going to be grabbing that information so that I can create an account, an asset account specifically, and track its depreciation throughout its lifetime. Uh, this is a an asset that we bought the year before for $68.13, $6,113. Then we are going to bring it forward to this year. Today is 9-25-23, so we're in September 23rd, September 25 of the year 2023. So our the book value of our asset is $5,450. So let's start number one. Um, we're going to first do the following. First, we're going to create a parent fixed asset account with no tracking, no amounts. Then we're going to create a fixed asset sub account under this account that you created with the original cost and date of purchase, right? And this is going to roll up. And then number three, we're going to create an accumulated depreciation sub account to track how much depreciation has gone for that asset. So let's get started then. So we got a QuickBooks. We go to the chart of accounts. For those of you, you can always go into the search box under the chart of accounts. Um, I'm going to create a new account here. In this version, you're going to see the icons. I'm going to look at an asset account. I'm going to save this under fixed assets. Specifically, this is uh, what we call a software. So I'm going to call this a fixed asset software, right? And we can leave it like that, tax form, section, fixed asset software as well. And the account name is going to be DV for Danny Vor, and this is going to be the POS system. So that's going to be the parent account. We don't need to do much more. And that's it. We just created that. The next thing I'm going to do for step two is to create a fixed asset sub account with the original cost of, and the date of purchase. So I'm going to create a new asset account. And I'm going to save this under the POS system that I created. And I'm going to call this the POS original cost. And now I'm going to track when I bought it. So according to our spreadsheet, I bought this on 1-1-2022. So I'm going to start tracking it as of, um, let's just, we're going to track it as at the end, I'm sorry, at the beginning of the purchase. So that's January 1st, 2022. Let me then get back to, to the QuickBooks and say uh, another date. Type it in, 01, 01, 2022, and the amount is for the 68, 13. Again, thank you, Danny, for volunteering your, your assignment so we can uh, show it. So I'm going to go in here and do this. So I plug in other date, the original start date when I bought it, and then the amount of 68, 13, and then I'm going to save it. So now you can see that under my fixed asset software accounts, um, this is this is this is move up. In fact, I don't like it this way. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put it under fixed assets only, and I'm gonna call it fixed asset uh, software. My apologies for that confusion. So it's under fixed asset, fixed asset software. So now it can be on its own, right? Now I've got to create a new Contra account, and the way I do this is I'm going to do a new asset account, which is step number three, for the accumulated depreciation sub account. And so I'm going to save this under that POS system again, but this is going to be an accumulated depreciation account, and I'm going to name it just that, accumulated depreciation, depreciation, and I need to know how much I depreciated as of the beginning of this year, which is when we started doing the bookkeeping for this business. So I can go back to my spreadsheet, and I can see that the balance as of the end of last year was uh, 5450. So that means that I depreciated 136260 before. So I'm gonna type in those 1,362 dollars and 60 cents, which is the depreciation amount for last year. And I don't have to 
redo the journal entries anymore. If I look at the beginning of this year, I should be able to look at my POS system. And I should be able to see that this is properly done. Let me fix this as well. I'm going to edit this to be... It should be parallel, but somehow it isn't. But it, it will be parallel in your case. I just made a mistake at the beginning, right? And that's it. That's the way you create that account. Now when you do the journal entry, which you will do this, you, you will do a journal entry for this year. And this is going to be depreciation for, for year 2023. Um, we're going to look at the depreciation expense. Remember to choose the account that says depreciation other expense. And then we're going to do year two. And then we're going to accumulate that depreciation for that asset, which will be the sub-account of DV POS system, right? And then we're done. But let's just make sure we choose the right date here. Always use the, the end of the year. Save and close. And so that's how we wrap up um, step 10 of this assignment. So we did year one. Remember, this is not necessarily available to you guys right now on QuickBooks. They're ch changing it. So this video replaces both year one and year two and the way you're supposed to do step 10. So if you're subscribed to my channel, then you got this. Thank you.